So if you remember Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich, he actually, a long time ago, 100 years ago, he said, uh, I have this here, Napoleon Hill explains in no vague terms that the wealth, wealthiest businessmen who managed to amass tremendous fortunes use the same secret. They all were able to connect with and tap into the spirit world and bring forth guidance and creative ideas that would move them ahead exponentially. Those who were privy to the secret reached unbelievable heights in business. Those unaware did not. Meaning at that time, God was taboo, really, outside the church. So if imagine a businessman who sits and taps into and connects with the divine inside, not to go to church and talk to priest, right? But deep inside of themselves, and they're able to have that connection and actually receive guidance, then they were able to amass big wealth. That was already 100 years ago. And I'm sure throughout, recently we talked about Solomon King, right? Who also had massive wealth. And um, he was wise. Why? Because he sacrificed himself to God as Google explains <laughs> so we're talking about those wise men who knew deep inside inherently that's what they needed in their business the rest of us were unaware did not connect and tried to do the business on our own just the live stream the soul and the human and that was it so try to be in one of those states, states maybe with a brick wall or maybe just two dark figures right on the graphic or just two of us without divine, hard. And divine makes it easy. It's still business. We still have a lot of work to do, but the difference is so drastic that I want to be in that business and I want to do this work because when I wake up, I'm excited to do this work because I don't need to push myself. I don't need to make myself outdo, outperform, outrun. And I just instead, I'm creating something and I'm satisfied with that creation. And the divine provides means for me to have it easier, to have it in the flow. 